We're going to continue our discussion of regularization with something called dropout. Now, dropout is where we actually remove some of the weights in the training of our network, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Right now, I want to tell you that this kind of thing where you remove neuronal connections happens in the central nervous system, and it could be when you're playing the piano, you're learning how to place your fingers, or like me, when you're learning how to do some cha-cha steps in the ballroom dance class. So here's an example of dropout. Mohammed, will you take us through this? Yes, so basically in dropout, we go to each neuron, and with some probability, we just remove that neuron and all the input and output connections to that neuron. And we just train with this new network. So we have much fewer uh, neurons to train depending on the probability that we pick. Yes, yes. And then that's a way of not overfitting, not trying to do everything because we're training with fewer neurons. Yes. So let's see this in more and, detail. Yeah, and if I just want to mention two points quickly, we do that for each iteration, and this way we learn different paths to the solution. It's some sort of having different networks to learn the same problem. Which is very similar to playing the piano. If you think about it, you start with a scale and then you make a mistake, and so the control of this finger is changed, yeah. but maybe later in the scale, it's this finger that changes. Yes, so it's some sort of probably different path in the brain to find, like, learn that. Yeah, that's playing, fantastic. Like that. So the, we are, it's, there is an analogy here that we can explore. So if you want to show that in more details, we, for example, if we have dropout on this layer, in each iteration, with some probability, we just uh, like uh, cancel out, we just remove some neurons, and this is in the training phase. In test phase, we just uh, fire all neurons, we just activate, we just use all the neurons, and, just, and if the probability of uh, canceling, the probability of dropout was 0 0.5 or some sort of P, in test, we multiply the output of the, uh, that, that, the output of that layer with mon, 1 minus p. And that would be true for any layer for which we apply the dropout to. Exactly. Yes. Not just the layer before output. Yes, yes. This can be any layer. Dropout could be applied on any layer, yes. And so here's the final question. When we decide which to drop out with probability p, which distribution do we pick the probability from? Like, is it going to be Gaussian? Is it uniform? Uh, I think it's uniform. Uniform. So uniform distribution means all neurons are equal, but maybe, maybe, in some cases, they're not all equal. So sometimes in a layer we might want uniform, and sometimes we will say we will only play with this group, but we want to keep this group. So mm -hmm. it's a way of doing an adaptive selection, really, mm -hmm. with our neuronal dropout. Mm -hmm.